What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing something that is super, super exciting. We are kicking off a brand new series called reacting to my viewer setup, which all it is, is I'm reacting to your guys' gaming setups that you submitted to me to take a look at. And this is going to be episode one of reacting to your setups. Today, we have seven gaming setups to react to. But before we get started, if you want to be in one of my next videos reacting to my viewer setups, I'll leave the link down below in the description to the forms where you can go submit and upload your specs and I'll be reacting to it in the next videos. But without further ado, let's get started. We have seven gaming setups to react to. Starting off this series is that guy Lariat with an insane setup, literally insane. That is just gorgeous. You got two monitors right here that are aligned perfectly. You got a monitor at the top that's aligned down and just looking at him, which is a perfect, perfect position for a top monitor. An Xbox down here on the left side with a controller, so it seems like he plays some Xbox games. You got a sure microphone and a camera at the top that is pointing down, meaning this guy streams. So make sure you guys follow him. I'll leave all the socials down below in the description. It looks like we have the same mouse, which is a Logitech G Pro Wireless. Uh, great choice for a mouse, buddy. Let's take a look at this guy's PC. It's literally insane. It's all obviously water cooled, custom built is what it looks like. I love the work he did on the tubing. You can see these round sections right here are just really, really nice. We have a 3080 Ti Strix non LHR. A great, great card. Very unique to get your hands on. 3700X from Ryzen. Great CPU. I would probably say go with the 5900 to actually have a good balance between the GPU and the CPU. He has 64 gigs of RAM from Corsair. Obviously, the Vengeance RGB right here in the middle. An Asus 570. Mobo. He has 13, listen to me, 13 Corsair fans, three at the top, three in the front, three on the side, three on the bottom. He has a dual EK 360 radiator with custom loop, obviously one on the side, one on the bottom, literally insane. I love that the water that's going through the tube is all clear. It makes it everything more shiny and light up. I do wonder why the fan on the back is not lit up. That's the one thing I'm not sure about, to be honest right now. Powering his PC has a 1000 watt, 80 plus platinum power supply from Corsair, which is a great, great choice, obviously. One terabyte of M.2 SSD and eight terabyte of hard drives, which is crazy. For the case, we have the Thermaltake View 51 ARGB case, which is a great case because it's really, really big and easy to work in, especially for custom water cools like this. Look at it with a little bit less exposure. The lights are just so like dark. I love that you did the red for the radiators and the blue for the other ones is like like a really good contrast all of it shining on the components and on the tubes it's just beautiful beautiful setup man for our second setup we have swift skies which is a 13 year old kid that has this build that looks better than my computer before we get started i really like how the color scheme is all the same you got the mouse pad the headphone stand, the monitor, the monitor, the wallpaper on the monitor, and the color scheme in your PC. It looks really, really nice. It looks like you're using the model all wired and a GK61 or something with custom coil cabled, which is really, really nice, obviously. Uh, the headphone stand is really cool. The tabletop, I'm not 100% sure. You could probably go with just black tabletop. The one thing that I'm going to say is it looks like the monitor that you're gaming on is not a gaming monitor, which, trust me, save your money and buy a gaming monitor. It's going to be totally worth it. I promise you that. Moving along, it looks like we have the same microphone. The Fine K651, uh, great choice. It looks like the HyperX Cloud headphones, which is also a, a really, really good keyboard. It looks like the Daria K61, yeah, just a GK61 or something. Great keyboard, by the way. I really, really like the art that's behind these couple cars, like classic cards. It's really nice. And you got a poster for basketball. Very, very unique. Uh, moving along to your PC. Holy smokes, your PC for a 13 year old is like a dream for any 13 year old kid buddy you got a ryzen 5 3600x in it 16 gigs of ram one terabyte of ssd two terabyte of hard drives which is really good you got an old rog 1060 which is still a really really good graphic cards to be honest and you have an msi mag b550 tomahawk which is a great motherboard for 5000 series and 3000 series so it works both so if you need to upgrade your cpu and your gpu you're already set you have a good one you have seven lee and lee fans which is awesome which goes really well with the 011 case that you have here i really like that you put the plant in the back which hides the cables uh, in the back, I kind of need one of those plants for the back of my PC right there. You also got a Deep Castle AIO with custom cables for your GPU and your 24 pin. Uh, very, very clean. I'm pretty sure we have the same plant that you have down here. But yeah, Swift, great, great build for a 13 year old man. You are living the life. For the third setup, we have Being AFK. The setup is pretty cool. I like that the wood floor matches kind of the tabletop that you have right here. You have a nice boom arm coming in with a microphone and pop filter, kind of not in the way of your keyboard, uh, which is really nice. A Corsair uh, wireless headset, three monitors. Looks the middle looks like the middle one is a gaming one. I really like this monitor layout. You have one monitor right here, one monitor right here that is vertical, one in the middle, which is your gaming one. If you don't have a lot of space on your desk, this is a great option. I would say maybe try to align your monitors a little bit better, you know, just tighten up a lot of things. It looks like you needed some cable management work in the bottom and then under the monitors. Uh, but other than that, it looks really, really clean. 
Obviously, you could use a better desk. It's a little bit cramped over there. And the one thing that I would say personally that I would prefer in my setups is that the back of my PC would be facing away from me. Looks like the back of the PC is facing you. If I was you, I would take the time, move all the monitors to the left side and have my PC on the right side and do some cable management and you'd be really good to go. I like that you have an alley from the wall right there. Great addition. For your PC, you don't actually include any pictures of the PC, but you have an i9. 10,900K, which is a great, great CPU, especially for gaming. You got the Corsair 4000D airflow. It's a really good case for airflow. Uh, has plenty of airflow in the front and the top. RGB fans from Corsair as well. A, <clears throat> a thousand watt power supply from Corsair. Dang, that's a lot of power supply. Again, MSI motherboard, no model. Probably a motherboard that supports Intel. Uh, Samsung one terabyte 980 Pro SSD. You have 64 gigs of RAM of Vengeance Corsair RGB and a Radeon 6900X T, which is, which is a great, great GPU for the i9 that you have overall this is an awesome setup it just needs a little bit of love such as cable management and reorganizing where the pc is on the desk for our fourth setup we have invixity uh this setup is so gorgeous dude i love that the monitors are exactly the same very lined up it looks like you have a laptop on the left side on the right side here it looks like you have a lee and lee 205 case which i which on the right side it looks like i have a lee and lee case which is an incredible option for building pcs in i actually just built a pc for my friend for it if you didn't watch that video it's right here go watch it later on Moving Moving arm, it looks like you have a boom arm. Great position for the boom arm, dude. Uh, really, really nice. It's out of the way. It doesn't look like you have a mouse pad. You need a mouse pad ASAP. Uh, the chair is really nice. It looks like a little bit ergonomic mesh in the back. I love that you put the boxes on the left side of your desk. That's really cool. It's always nice to show off what your PC is made from. It looks like the two the monitors that you have right here are HP monitors, not gaming, which uh, obviously gaming monitors make a huge difference high refresh rate and lower response time uh, make a difference trust me maybe get one and put the other one on the side for the pc itself you didn't leave me a lot of information right here buddy you have a ryzen 5600x which is a great cpu paired with a 3060 ti from asus ko also a great gpu with that cpu and a motherboard from gigabit the b450 the great great motherboard it looks like a trident z uh, ram maybe 16 gigs two sticks right here and just a stock cooler from the 5600x i'd recommend switching that cooler but overall building in the Lee and Lee 205. It's a great, great choice. Uh, pretty nice setup. Very moderate. Uh, looks really nice. I feel like all the setup needs is a new gaming monitor, a mouse pad, and a little bit of cable management, and you'd be really good to go. Next, we have Godel uh, with a red theme. Very, very red theme. RGB strip at the top. Wallpaper that's super red. It looks like some sort of anime Genshin Impact, whatever that. That is just poster. Pretty cool. Uh, nice. I think this is a Red Dragon keyboard, which is not bad. It looks like a fiber desk, which is nice. And then a headset. It looks like you're a little bit cramped in there. Moving on to the PC, you got Lee and Lee streamer cables. Really, really nice. Very, very bright red. Lee and Lee AIO. I think these are Lee and Lee fans. You have a 3070 Ti right here with a 5800X, which is a great, great CPU GPU combo. I actually have a 5900X, so very similar to that. You have B550F from Strix. This is a great motherboard. And for the case, it looks like you have the Corsair 4000T. Obviously, we mentioned you have the streamer cables right here. Honestly, very, very nice build. The PC is incredible. Do some better cable management on the bottom. Have get a bigger, bigger desk with a mouse pad, and you'd be really good to go. Up next, we have Felix. Uh, looks like he's also building in the Lee and Lee case, the white one. It looks like you have the Logitech G502. Uh, special edition i actually have the same mouse right there uh the keyboard i'm not really sure about it looks okay you have an xbox on the left side right here and a great place to put the microphone so it's not in the way one thing that we got to talk about buddy is your chair uh i'm not sure what's happening right there i think you stand pretty sure this is a stand desk from costco that you bought it's really really nice this stand desk is actually all top glass so you don't even need a mouse pad you can just use the mouse on the glass to be honest you have the acer monitor which is a gaming monitor this is a curved 27 inch i think and a turtle beach headset c920 right there cables um god bless I don't know what to say. Just bring all of them together, tie them up, put them on the bottom of your desk somehow. I know it's a stand-up desk, but you can still do something about it. Other than that, the desk setup looks really nice. You got a GTX 1080 in there with 5000 series. I don't know which one. A 570 Pro motherboard and a Vengeance uh, Pro SL. You didn't leave me much details, buddy, about the PC, but overall, it looks good. But if I was you, all you need to do is a little bit better cable management, a better mouse pad, a better chair, and your setup would be super, super sweet. Uh, oh, man. It's time to choose a winner. It's And the winner is is which is pretty obvious is that guy lariat his pc setup is incredible super super cleans all the cables are really really tight 
the PC itself is phenomenal. Obviously, a custom loop built PC. I mean, I can't, I don't know what to say other than this is just amazing, but you are the winner and I'll be sending you 25 bucks uh, on PayPal. I know it's not much money, but we're just getting started. This is episode one. So keep an eye out for your DMs and uh, thank you everybody for participating in this. And I'm excited to have a second episode of reacting to my viewer setup. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.